Hi, welcome to the first video on my channel. My name is Anthony. I'm just your average skincare enthusiast. Um, just wanting to share a little bit more about my skincare journey and some products that I love and hopefully create some conversation with other people out there um, about skincare in general. So today's video I thought would be a great place to start off with just talking about some of my favorite skincare products and some staples that I just keep on going back to. Um, a little bit of a background on my skin so you can understand um, the places that I'm coming from is that I used to be on Accutane for about six months. I um, had pretty extreme acne around the cheeks um, and a little bit like on my jawline. Um, so I was on Accutane for about six months and have a lot of scarring um, from that. I know that I may not look like it, but that's just kind of what cameras do. Um, I also have a little bit of um, like premature wrinkling on my forehead and like under my eyes as well. And obviously a lot of people struggle with smile lines as well. Um, I do get kind of like sporadic breakouts, but it's not as bad as it was as um, before I went on Accutane. So I'll mainly just break out around my jawline. Um, and then lastly, the other thing that I would say is that I have more of a combination style skin leaning more towards dry. Um, I would say I get oily around my T-zone like most people, but other than that, it stays pretty uh, dry. So that's why I would say combination leaning a little bit more towards dry. So without further ado, let's talk about some three products that I really like, really enjoy, and really find as staples in my um, skincare journey and that I always keep on going back to. So let's start off with number one, which is this La Roche-Posay uh, Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This guy is just kind of your average basic cleanser. I would say that it's not something that is going to, you know, make any groundbreaking changes in your skin, but it's just a strong foundation maybe to start off with or something. Maybe when you're looking for another cleanser and it's just, you know, there's a lot of things out there. I would say that this is just a great product to kind of start off on. Um, there's a normal to dry and a normal to oily, I believe, um, formula. I use the normal to dry. Um, the thing that I like about this the most is that it's just so calming and just simple. It has glycerin in it, which is known as kind of like a hydrating um, a hydrating ingredient and also the thing that I love about it is it also has niacinamide in it and niacinamide I feel like is a great ingredient for just controlling your acne I don't think that this product is going to you know like be groundbreaking in terms of curing your acne or um, like if you are kind of like borderline thinking about going on something like Accutane, I think that this isn't even in comparison to anything like that. I think it's just going to help control and help try to prevent future breakouts. Um, it, the niacinamide levels in it are so low, um, but I do like it for that reason. Um, the other thing that I would like to say about it is that it's uh, fragrance free and sulfate free. I know that sulfates is kind of debated of whether that's good or not. Um, everyone has their own opinion. I don't really mind them um, just because you know, most of the times it's such a small amount of sulfates that it doesn't impact too much of what's kind of going on. It's necessary pr for preservation of your skincare. Um, but the fact that it's fragrance free, um, a lot of fragrances kind of irritate skin. So it, this is a great product for sensitive skin, I would say, in those terms. Um, also, I would say don't use this as your first cleanser. Utilize this as your second cleanser. So if you're wearing a lot of makeup or anything along those lines, definitely use this as your second. Utilize a oil cleanser first before this product. Um, I actually have one more thing to say about it. It's super cheap, like all of these other products that I'm going to talk about. Um, a lot of these are on the like less expensive side of um, skincare, which is great. They're all affordable. Um, this one in particular is 13.52 fluid ounces, and it's around $13.99 like at a Target or at Ulta. So it's a great pick-me-up, um, just as a basic cleanser. The next product that I want to talk about is actually from The Ordinary. It's the AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution. This product is great at just kind of resurfacing your skin, helping with any acne scarring, um, any pigmentation issues. Um, obviously, it's not an overnight kind of product where it's going to fix all those issues in just one or two uses. 
but I would say that I have seen so much uh, like positive results with my acne scarring on my cheeks specifically utilizing this product. Um, you use it for about 10 minutes, it's a mask, um, and you use it twice a week. If you have a little bit more of a sensitive skin, I would recommend only once a week. Um, but the directions do say up to twice a week. Um, the thing that I would say is this is not a beginning skincare product. It is, and it can be very spicy, or it can be, you know, a little bit spicy, either one. <laughs> um, and it just, it can tingle, it can tingle. So if you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend this product um, for those um, reasons, just because you don't want to be coming out with like pizza face or <laughs> anything like that. It does make the kind of like, you can see the perimeter, like where... Um, I didn't apply the mask like on like right in between my hairline and, and um, the mask you can see like the redness so it will make your skin red like I said it will tingle a little bit so just be careful um, but it is a great I would say just a great easy to use um, peeling solution it doesn't actually peel your skin or I personally never had any um, peels or any peeling from my skin so just kind of be in mind of that um, but overall, great product and fairly inexpensive too. The next and last product that I want to talk about is actually from The Ordinary as well. It is the 100% organic rose hip oil. This is just such a game changer. As I said, I experience all levels of the spectrum as far as skin goes. So a lot of the times I do deal with dry skin, but I can experience the oiliness as well. And this just helps maintain the levels of moisture on my skin it helps just balance everything out and keep it it's just a simple easy step to my skincare i do it last in my skincare routine in the summer i forego the moisturizer and just utilize this at night i just drop about a half a drop in my hands and then i'll press it into my skin and into my neck i will not um rub it into my skin but that being said, if you're into like gua sha or anything along those lines, utilizing some of those tools, I would say that this is an awesome oil to utilize with those tools just to help the glide um, of the surface of your skin. And it's just overall, like I said, a great oil. On the website, it does say that it helps with um, like pigmentation and scarring and things like that. I'm not sure that I have experienced the most results in those categories from this product. Um, I would say that it probably does help or it has helped a little bit as I have seen improvement while utilizing this product. I've just utilized other products along with it that I feel have impacted it more. As this oil I feel like is pretty much doing exactly what you'd expect from it. Helping with hydration in your skin and dehydration in your skin. Um, so that's why I would 100% recommend it. It's very inexpensive. Not the cheapest oil on um, The Ordinary, but it is on the lower end of the spectrum. So check it out. Um, I'm going to be linking pretty much everything that I talk about or everything that I'm talking about below in the description box. So you can check it out and see the three products that I talked about today. And I'll link also where you can buy them too. Um, just so that you can see the exact prices as I don't know everything off the top of my head. But overall, those are three skincare products that I love and really enjoy. And hopefully, if you are finding yourself in the market for some new skincare, you check these out. Um, like I said, the prices are pretty much like spot on, so there's no harm in trying some of these. The only one that I would say is um, do a little bit more research on your AHA, BHA if you're utilizing it um, and see how it will react with your skin, just because it is a little bit more of a complex skincare item. And it can be a little... So that wraps up my first video here on the tubes of you. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. If you want to see a little bit more about my skincare journey and my experiences, I'll probably be posting around once a week to every other week, depending on what's going on. And in the meantime, I will see y'all later. Have a good one.